Hi, I've never been a big fan of small drones. Those ones that you normally use to fly inside the house and just have a little bit of fun with a 1S battery or something like that. And probably mainly because I don't have a big house. I live in Sweden where the winter is long and then uh, you can't fly these kind of drones outside and you have to fly them inside. But I recently got very interested on this little thing that I have here. It's the URUAV UZ80. It comes as a kit that you have to build yourself. Uh, you don't need to solder anything. It, everything is just uh, screwing and, and, and plugging things in. And I just found out it is, uh, it's an inexpensive drone. I want to try it and see what it is about. So I'm, pl I'm planning to record myself building this and then talk about how I feel when I'm uh, flying it inside my house and where actually we are in summer right now so I can fly it outside as well and see a little bit how it, it works. So come with me and let's see what's in the box and how I build this. Let's see first what's in the box. This is a camera. We have a screwdriver and some rubber band props. The canopy. Here's the flight controller. Four motors. Instructions how to build it and then the frame. The first step is to get this camera mount into the camera. There are two holes in diagonal here and this has also the two holes. So it should fit like this and then screw it up. The second step is to get the camera into the canopy. The instructions they don't say if there is a specific way to put the camera if it's going to be upside down or or not so most probably this is something that I'll put it and then check if it's on the right direction. Next is to install the motors. It doesn't look like there is a right side or a wrong side here so we just go with it. I'm not expecting a lot out of this drone since it's so small and it weighs nothing just like 20 grams or something like that. But it could be something fun. Uh, at the same time it's very inexpensive and you if you are afraid of soldering there is nothing to solder here so it might be a, a good experience just to build by screwing the pieces are very very small which means that you have to have good eye and and a little bit of patience to grab them and work with them there's a red dot in two of the cables I'm guessing that means something around the direction of the of the motors there is a diagram on which direction should they be so the two with dots should be opposite let's see if it works next is to install the flight controller for that we need to prepare some screws first so these long screws have to go through the frame and then they will be secure with some with a knot now we have to use these rubber spacers so we can install the flight controller on top of it. Now we have to install the camera. You have to be careful to have the right orientation of the connector so you don't you don't bend any any pin or anything like that. So there is a big chance that I have the orientation wrong because there is not much in the instructions about how it should B. There is no a lot of information either on the on the card itself but I will build it and if there is something wrong I would redo it later. So I actually had the flight controller on the other direction so it should go with the USB connector down. And then we connect the camera here. We leave the motors for later and we can connect the canopy like this and get some knots in it. You don't want to over tie this since there is a rubber there that it's needed for the flight controller to be so soft mounted. Okay now it's built. The motors goes in here. The USB port is down here and I install the props as the guide says. Again most probably this is not correct and I will have to change something. The props are installed by pressure. They're very hard 
so I wouldn't like to have to take them out again. Let's connect this to better flight and see how it's configured and see if we need to do something. The drone that I selected is uh, comes with FR Sky receiver so I'm going to duplicate uh, a model that I had before with FR Sky and I'm going to modify it so we can um, bind it. The instruction says that we should be using FR Sky D8. So I'm going to choose here FR Sky and D8. And then I have to get the drone into binding mode. And the easiest way to do that right now will be to issue the command FR Sky bind. So right now the drone is in binding mode. We have a solid red light and then we start binding and now we have to make sure to write save on the CLI and we should be bound. Let's see some footage of uh, flying time now. The drone the camera is nothing special, right? It's, this is a super mini drone, but the fact that you can fly it around and, uh, and that it's actually very fun. It's what is actually important here. Uh, you can see that I can move it without any problem inside my house. Before I used it, I, I didn't used to be capable of doing these kind of things. And, and now this is something that if you think that you pay only something around 60 70 dollars for a drone like this then you you can have a lot of fun still uh, even though it's a small thing and fly around i think something that is important to say is that this is not a very common drone that you're going to find in a lot of shops which means that if you break apart it's going to be difficult to find the, the replacements. And this is something that you have to have in mind because it's a, it's a drone that you're going to crash. Uh, even though I crashed several times, it didn't break or anything yet, but I'm sure that I'm gonna break some part and then it's going to be quite difficult to find the replacements. In general, I'm loving this drone. Uh, it's easy to fly, you can control it very well. It uses 1S batteries and you just need to buy a bunch of them, have them at home so you can fly for a long time. I think I get something around two and a half minutes per battery. I'm using 450 1S cells. Um, and this is a new thing that I'm discovering. It's, it's fun to, to fly like this. Of course, this right now it's summer and I can go out and in of the house when it's winter. Maybe just flying inside the house is not that much fun, um, but um, I'm, I'm liking this, I'm enjoying this. So I invite you to, to test some micro whoops and see if you can have so much fun as I'm having right now. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.